Hello my friends, welcome to another video. It is I, Sam the Vlog, AKA Sir Beardface. And today we are gonna talk about how my business did $124,000 in revenue over the last 12 months. We're gonna dive right into it because we've got a lot to cover. I'm sitting in the new office of our new home in Arizona. We've completed the move. We're waiting on some furniture. So if you're looking for a vlog, this is not the video for you. This is a business related video. Upcoming, I'll be doing a house tour and some more vlog stuff. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, if you want to learn some stuff, keep watching. If you're new, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already and you're just watching this video, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the little notification button next to my videos. That way you know that my videos have gone live and you can be part of the first crew, first commenters, you know, super fans down there. And of course, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy what I'm sharing today. So what I wanna to cover today is the exact system and processes that we've used to generate 124,000 in revenue over the last 12 months with our e-commerce clothing apparel brand. Enough detail to give you an idea of the systems, the applications that we use that drive traffic, that turn into sales, and how we keep that whole circular funnel just cruising so we can continually pump out sales revenue, which means dollars in my pocket and your pocket. So let's jump right into it. It is a lot to cover. We're gonna break it down right now. I'm gonna do a little screen sharing and some fancy stuff and, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it, let's go. All right, guys, before going any further, I wanted to jump in here and show you a couple things for all the naysayers. There's a lot of doubters out there, a lot of internet trolls rolling around saying, you didn't do that much, blah, blah, blah. Well, suck it, we did. Here we go. So here's our Stripe dashboard. Stripe is our payment processor. Um, this shows over the last year, since April 1st to, of 2016 to April 19th of 2017, we've done 117.7K which you're saying, Sam, that's not 124,000. Well, hold up, let me show you what happened. So we actually switched from WordPress to Shopify in the last like month and a half. Shopify does not report their numbers in our Stripe dashboard, so now that reporting is separate. Bounce over to Shopify. Good morning, Sam, here I am. This is today's sales so far. To give you an idea, it is 10.34 a.m., so we're not off to a bad start so far today. If you were to cruise over here, change up the reporting, Let's go all the way back to April, just to show you. We, we weren't running the store in April. Uh, and then all the way forward to today, which is somewhere, what, the 19th? Yep, 19th. Boom. No, 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 no. Why are you not showing all channels? There we go. 8,247. So do the math. 1,117 and 700 plus... 8,247 equals 125,947. 125,947 to date from April 1st to April 19th, 2017. So there are our numbers just to show you guys what that looks like, what kind of traffic we're getting on a regular basis. Um, that's not our end goal. We're gonna be doing a lot more than that, but I did want to show that to you. This is ClickFunnels. I'm gonna go into some detail on this. I want to talk about that a little bit. Let's dive into it. I'm gonna show you how we rock and roll here. Okay. I think the easiest way to do it is to kind of draw it out on a paper or a whiteboard or something and show you how the whole flow works. So we're gonna switch camera views and let us rock and roll, shall we? All right, guys. So we're gonna break down our workflow right here. Hopefully you can see this okay. I know the angle's a little interesting. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is break down our process our e-com workflow, if you will, of how, where we generate traffic, where we send that traffic, and how we send that traffic back to our store over and over again to continually create sales and revenue. So this first column over here, we'll call it obviously traffic, and we'll talk about where we generate that traffic from. In the beginning, we were only on organic traffic. So organic, Hopefully you can see that. Organic traffic sent through Facebook, Insta, which is 
hip hop speak for Instagram, if you were wondering. And then word of mouth, which we'll call WOM, word of mouth. So we didn't have the inventory to push a lot of traffic to our storefront. And so we had to keep it small in the beginning and we relied on, on our Insta presence and our organic social media presence to drive traffic to our store. We had a good idea, we picked a niche, we launched the products, and then we just spent the time growing our following on these platforms to allow us to have a little validity there and allow us to drive some organic sales in. It wasn't until later that we started paying for ads when we had a large shipment come in because we had all the inventory to be able to sustain that traffic. So our next source of traffic obviously is gonna be ads. We have run all of our ads on Facebook or Instagram. We've not messed with banner ads or anything on Google keywords, blah, blah, blah. It's all been social media. We do some influencer marketing here on Instagram uh, where we team up with other big accounts and we do either giveaways or we do shout outs, paid things like that. Most of our traffic has come through Facebook ads, running ads on Facebook. And then the last source of traffic, which is something that needs to be built, is our list, our email list. We uh, carefully cultivate emails in every step of the process so that we can remarket to that list. And this part is so hugely important. If you're not following up and doing a list and remarketing to the people that come through your store, you're losing a lot of dollars. Uh, somebody recently posted in a group that I'm in and they said, how important is an is a email campaign to your marketing system? And I commented back and said, a good email marketing system is the difference between making money once or making money forever and I choose making money forever, and I think you guys probably would too. So, now we have this traffic, right, from these different sources, where do we wanna send it? Well, in our case, we send it to two spots. And those spots are ClickFunnels, we'll call this CF. Now, if you guys are wondering what ClickFunnels is, I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail. Uh, it's essentially a drag and drop uh, lead pages site builder that allows you to create these sales funnels that pushes your traffic in a very targeted direction. So for instance, we run Facebook ads for an offer to ClickFunnels. When they click on the ad, it takes them to ClickFunnels. And what it is is a free plus shipping offer. So we say, hey, free item, just pay the shipping, and that gets our customer through the door. We capture their emails, we capture their information, and what they're doing is paying a discounted rate for which is rolled into shipping, so it's a bit of a little marketing ploy there, but it works very well. Uh, they pay for the shipping, and then they get this free product sent to them. Now, right after they come through that funnel, before they leave, we hit them with a number of upsells. So we're saying, hey, wait, this offer doesn't exist anywhere else. Grab another item, just pay this, or 25% off, or buy one, get one free, or our subscription model. We push them through a subscription model as one of the upsells in here. So ClickFunnels, if you're wanting to be a big player in the e-com game, I can't tell you how many of the big dudes are running ClickFunnels. We've run it extremely successfully from the moment that we launched, and it has gone, it's been, you, you guys gotta try it out. There's a link in my bio, or a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, but if you want a free trial through me, it's two weeks free. Uh, click the link and sign up, play around with it. It is an awesome program. So ClickFunnels is a big source of our traffic and our sales. Um, if they're not going to ClickFunnels, then they're obviously going to our website, which is built out on Shopify. We use a number of apps in Shopify to help us complete everything we're looking to do. Um, in ClickFunnels, our payment processor is Stripe. Stripe just handles our, all the card payments, our reoccurring billing for the subscription programs, Shopify has a, a payment processor built in that's powered through Stripe. That's why you saw the reporting is separate because they don't report together in those, um, in those dashboards for Stripe. Now, now you should have sales right here, right? So you should have some dollars coming in because you're pushing this traffic into here. And basically the way to look at it is if you don't have sales, you can break down and reverse engineer the process. So let's say you launch a Facebook ad and you're getting all kinds of likes and shares and whatever, that means you have a decent ad, but why is it not converting to sales? Well, wherever you're pushing them, whether that's your shop, your store, or a landing page is not formatted correctly. Because if you have that offer built out on the front end correctly, you would get sales. So then you say, okay, well I'm getting the traffic and the clicks, maybe I need to redesign my landing page 
or my storefront to make it look appealing, right? If you're getting no likes, no shares, no traffic, that means your ad needs some work. So take a look at the ad and see why that's not engaging, whether that's the way you're targeting in Facebook ads or the way your copy is set up or the way your image is set up. Take a look at all of those components, split test a few things and figure out why that ad's not working. It's a long process. I'm not going into Facebook ads right now, but it's a systematic process. You can break it down and you can figure it out just by split testing and figuring each step, which one's working, which one's not, right? So just kind of reverse engineer that. Um, again, these guys come through our click funnels or our website and at every step of the way, we have pop-ups blah, 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 right there that are capturing their what? Email. This is huge, guys. This is huge. We capture their email. We use a program called Infusionsoft to manage all of our emails. You guys can use things like uh, MailChimp, which works pretty well for getting started. Infusionsoft is about 300 a month, which is expensive. Uh, but for now, it works for our purposes because we do some larger campaigns on our store. We're actually looking into switching totally to ClickFunnels because they do a lot of the same things that Infusionsoft does, uh, and they do it very simply. They are also 300 a month for the full suite, but we could technically cancel that one out if we make that work. Uh, so we're looking into switching because ClickFunnels has a lot of cool campaigns and things that you can do within it. And I'll do another video on ClickFunnels if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments below if you are. Um, so now you're at their email, you've captured their information, and this is where the magic happens. You set up email campaigns. You hit them on the day of the sale, say thank you for your purchase. You follow up with them a few days later. Uh, you blast them about new sales or promotions or new products. You wanna touch your customers. We do a minimum of like three times a week right now, and that's a lot of emails. Our list is about 12K right now. So 12,000 people times three a week, that adds up quick, right? You're at like 36,000 emails a week. That's why we use Infusionsoft, because we need that capacity. Um, but what that does is you're creating relationships. People love us for the marketing that we do. They come back, they respond to our emails and say, and we use a lot of humor in our marketing and we get very personal and we get friendly and we share stories and testimonials. And what does it do? It makes people love us and it sends them straight back into our store to buy more products. It's a circle. You're, you're creating traffic, gra gathering new customers here, pushing them through your funnels or your sales systems, capturing their information, remarketing to them, and sending them back through over and over. Because guys, the lifetime value of your customer is so much bigger than their first sale, right? If you have a product that's $19.99 and they come in and they buy that product once, that's it, you're done. And then you have to continually find new people to come in and buy that same product over and over again to make any decent revenue. But if you can remarket to them and sell them on building your brand uh, and your products, they come back in, they purchase three, four, five or more times. The company that I run is a sock company. We literally sell socks. And that revenue that I showed you earlier is all sock revenue. We've only recently within the last few weeks introduced a few new items. And this is from socks. They sell for 15 bucks a piece. 124K in revenue from socks. So I wanna paint that picture. And guys, we have customers that we've seen from the very beginning that signed on with us that have come back through our store because we market to them and ordered over and over and over and over again. And we do it by our email marketing campaign. We have customers that have spent over $1,000 in our store on socks. That blows your mind, it blows my mind, it should blow your mind. That's the difference. You want the lifetime value of that customer so you have to keep them engaged. Focus on your customer service, focus on creating a relationship, a real brand, not these one-off drop shipping stores that are just throwing cheap crap from China out there. People wanna know that they can trust you and that they can get behind your story. All right guys, that is it for the video. I hope that helped kind of paint a picture of our processes and our systems that generate that traffic. If you have specific questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them as to the best of my ability. We're not pros, we're just two dudes that have been doing this and testing everything along the way until we figured out a system that works. And in the beginning, it didn't work. It took a lot of time for us to get to the point that we're at now. We're, we're almost at a two year mark of our business, but the key is that we've stuck very consistently to what we're doing to our branding and we've grown it person by person, customer by customer. 
um, check out ClickFunnels. The link is in my description below. Click on that, sign up for the two week trial and give it a try. It beats out landing pages and lead pages and all those other companies that are doing um, all that crazy stuff. This is like a one stop shop for all of your website marketing, list building, emailing kind of needs. Uh, we use it and we freaking love it. So check that out. Thanks again for watching. We're gonna do some vlogs coming up soon. We'll do a house tour. This is our backyard back here. We are now in Phoenix. We're stoked to be here. I feel good. I think that uh, we'll get a little bit more consistent with the uploads now that things are kind of normal as we wait for Carrie, my wife, to have the baby. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Goodbye.